Alright, welcome to my Star Wars Find the Force Bundles gameplay and review. So as you can see in the item shop right now, you can get Anakin, Padme, the 501st and 212th Battalion Trooper Pack, and the Clone Trooper Rat Pack. And it looks like you can only buy Anakin and Padme's bundle individually. Now, in addition, of course, there's multiple skins that you can unlock from the Find the Force mini battle passes. One costs a thousand V-Bucks, the other one doesn't. I might do a review on some of these. They're pretty much all the same, except for Darth Maul. And by the way, if you want to buy the entire battle pass, let's see, how much does it cost? I don't want to do it, but I just want to see. Okay, it's not that bad, $16.50. So if you want everything with no effort, 1,650 V-Bucks, plus the thousand that it costs to buy the bundle in the first place. But I'm just gonna be focusing on these skins up here, as well as the wraps. So let's start with Anakin Skywalker. So here he is in the locker, it says the chosen one. And look at how good they are at replicating faces now. That is spot on. Of course, this is the iconic actor Hayden Christensen, and it looks exactly like him. So he, of course, played Anakin in episode two and three of the trilogy prequel, and I think they did him some justice here. This looks phenomenal from his Jedi outfit to his lightsaber to his face. Everything looks very, very clean. So his back bling is the Jedi holocron. It says stores the teachings of the Jedi. The Sith use these as well, if I remember correctly. So nothing too special there. I myself would probably not run this just because it is one of those floating back blings and I'm not a big fan of those. I think he looks way better without a back bling, but that's just me. Or you could use any other Star Wars back bling out there if you want. His pickaxe, I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed with. Obviously, we all wanted a lightsaber and this is what we get, the fusion cutter, a useful tool for tuning up your pod racer. Anakin certainly did love his pod racer, but to turn it into a pickaxe tool, uh, it looks like it's got a decent splash though. We'll see. All the Star Wars pickaxes are pretty underwhelming. However, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor looks really, really sweet. It says, where the fun begins. Look at that. Can't wait to see this in game. And of course you can see R2-D2 in there. Does he move? I thought I saw him move, but he's not moving right now. So his wrap is right here. It's called the Actus Class. This of course references his ship, which is the Actus Class Jedi Interceptor or in Fortnite, the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Same color scheme. So before I begin, I just wanted to say thank you to Epic Games for gifting me most of these. And then some of my community actually gifted me the rest. So I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you so much. And of course I am an Epic partner and that's why they gifted me a lot of these as well. Now for an emote, I equipped the little pod racer. I believe you can get this from the quest rewards. I think Epic Games gave me this when they gifted me everything else. But it is traversal and it says, now this is pod racing. And he kind of laughs when he's flying around. All right, here we go. Let's check out his glider first. By the way, I did put Darth Vader's contrail on. He does not come with those. So let's check out Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Here's the deploy. Okay, that's not bad. Obviously, it'd be way cooler if we could ride in it, but that's not how gliders work in Fortnite. Let's see if R2-D2 moves. I swear he swiveled around at one point, but I don't see him moving at all. No, I don't see anything. Let me get out of the slipstream. I do like the deploy. The wings unfold. Not too shabby. Okay, so here we go. As I mentioned at the start, not really a fan of the backplane. It's just too bulky in my opinion. Looks like it is somewhat transparent. You can kind of see in there. I think they did just a fantastic job with this character. Now, obviously there's nothing bright about him, nothing reactive, nothing that glows, just a solid overall looking skin. Let's do nailed it and take a look from the front. You can see his lightsaber right there. Very, very clean. So how about the pickaxe? Okay. It looks like it kind of has Thor's hammers animation. Let's see. Yep, tosses it from one hand to the other. Oh, there's absolutely no contrail. Okay, well that's a little disappointing. How about a splash effect? Okay, splash is there. Why is that not the contrail color? That's a nice splash though. So obviously this is a tool he uses to fix his pod racer. Speaking of which, this is the little pod racer. No. Pretty cool. Remember this in episode one? 
Nice sound effects, that's for sure. You can't see his smiling face, though. I love it. How about the wrap as well as the aim down sights? Pretty clean. You can see he's got his full set of hair. I think in episode two, he had the shortcut, didn't he? And this is his episode three one. The wrap is just okay. Again, not reactive, not animated, and it suits his glider, which is kind of weird because obviously you're never going to have your wrap and your glider together. So why didn't they just go with a jet black one? I don't know. It doesn't really match his character. There's nothing yellow on him at all. So that's about it for Anakin. There's not really much to say. He's a pretty low-key character. If you're a fan of Star Wars or Darth Vader, you're going to absolutely love this character. All right, let's just get an elimination and see if that backlane will surprise me and do something here. All right, here we go. Focus on the backlane. No. It'd be cool if it kind of displayed some information or something. No, nothing on that one either. Try to get one more limb here. I'm going to try to hip fire with the red eye. Oh, wow. Nope, nothing. So no reactivity at all for Anakin. I guess we can try the pickaxe here. No, nope. nothing special. Next up is Padme Amidala, a.k.a. Queen Amidala. So her description says Naboo's most courageous senator. Did you know George Lucas pronounces it Nabu? I always thought it was Naboo. I'm going to refer to it as that, though, Naboo, because that's how they say it in the movies. So she has a pretty bland look, just like Anakin, except it's the complete opposite. Instead of that nice jet black, she's got this cloth white color. It's not really white, but I don't know how to describe it otherwise. Again, though, the face truly represents how the movies portrayed her. And of course, Padme was played by none other than the great Natalie Portman. So I got to give the kudos for absolutely nailing both faces for these characters. Just fantastic. Now she does have a second style, something Anakin didn't have. So this style is called the Geonosis Combat. Now if you watch Star Wars Episodes 1 through 3, you'll remember that in Episode 2, when Padme was one of the prisoners on Geonosis, as well as Anakin, she got attacked by something called a Nexu, which was this multi-eyed beast. So she was quite literally wearing this outfit right here, the Padme one, and then she got slashed by this big beast, and it literally ripped her shirt, as well as put the claw marks on her back. So they did a great job representing a little bit of lore from episode two. So her back bling is called a Japor Snippet, and it says a good luck charm carved by Anakin and gifted to Padme. So I remember this from episode one. Queen Padme was trying to comfort Anakin, and he pulled this necklace out, and he said, I carved this out of a Japor snippet. However, in the movie, it's a teeny tiny thing, not this ginormous back bling. So again, a nice movie or lore reference. It's just a lot larger. Then her pickaxe is the Royal Naboo Staff. So this is the only thing I can't remember her ever holding. I'm sure she did at one point in episode one. I just can't remember this thing. But obviously she was the queen. So maybe this was the staff she held at one scene or something. I don't know. Someone let me know. Was this actually in the movie? And then we have her glider, the Naboo Yacht. I believe this is one of those diplomatic ships in Star Wars. Of course, she was a senator. It looks absolutely ginormous. I can't wait to see this in game. I don't know how it's going to look, but it's huge. Now, unfortunately, she does not come with a wrap. And this color scheme is very difficult to match with anything. So I just went with the Rift Warden's wrap. It kind of has the same color scheme a little bit. If you find a better wrap, let me know in the comments. So let's go ahead and take a look at her in-game. All right, here we go. Moment of truth for the Naboo yacht. Is it going to take up the entire screen? Let's see. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Well, it takes up a majority of your character. You can't even see her. There we go. Okay, when you press forward, you can see. But when just stationary, you're pretty much nothing but legs. And you can't see a thing when you go backwards. Look at that. Same thing for the sides. It's a little obstructive to say the least that's a massive yacht so it's got a pretty decent deploy comes cruising in from the side makes some nice sound effects that's nothing really special but it suits the character very nicely okay here we go miss padme so just like anakin a very bland looking character she might stand out a little bit more just because she's that whitish color here's the pickaxe pull out you can see it's a two-handed one doesn't look too bad. 
Not much of a contrail. You can see a little after image. Let's see if there's a splash. Okay, nice golden yellow splash. Pretty solid. Doesn't look like the back bling will do much, but it suits her a lot better than Anakin's did, in my opinion. Looks like the necklace portion of it kind of dangles. You can see her iconic bun hair looks really clean. And this wrap does go quite nicely. So if you have the Rift Warden Stellan, actually, I think he's in the item shop right now. Or at least he was yesterday. You can buy this wrap, and it looks pretty good. Here's the little pod racer. Yum! Just a clean looking skin that definitely looks like Padme from the movies. Let's take a look at her secondary style real quick. So you can clearly see the slash mark. I took off the back bling, obviously, from the Nexu creature. Take a look from the front. So her entire sleeve on that one arm got removed. So overall, a nice representation of the movie character. So lastly, we have the 212th Battalion Trooper as well as the 501st Trooper. And the 212th says a specialized attack trooper serving under General Kenobi. So this one has that, I don't want to call it gold, but it's not yellow. What color is that? I don't even know how to describe it. And then this one has that awesome blue color. So they're pretty much the exact same skin, just a little bit of a color difference. Everything else looks to be identical from what I can tell. And the wraps that you get with this are the 212th Legion, which is that one color that I didn't know how to name the 501st Legion, which is the nice blue. And then you also get the Wolfpack Battalion, which doesn't match either of these two. And then we also get Ahsoka's Guard. Now, she is not a skin yet. I'm hoping she comes out. Obviously, this is a reference to her, so maybe they're plotting on bringing her out soon. I can't wait, if so. I love her colors. So let's go ahead and equip the 212th Legion on the first one. So here he is, the 212th Battalion Trooper. It's a pretty good skin. I think the wrap matches incredibly well. Nothing really to complain about here. No bright colors, no reactivity, nothing animated. So if you're a Star Wars fan, I think you're going to absolutely love this character. Looks really, really good. And here's the 501st Trooper. His back looks a little different than the 212th Battalion Trooper. But I, for one, love this color scheme on the wrap as well as the skin a lot more. It's that nice, almost baby blue. Very clean. So if you're a fan of these clone troopers, you get both of these skins for only 800. That's a steal, in my opinion. So there you go. Those are all the bundles in the Find the Force tab. Anakin, Padme, and the clone troopers plus their rat pack. So I would actually recommend the clone trooper rat pack. I know they're pretty bland, but these two right here are actually in the mini Star Wars Battle Pass. So once you unlock those skins, you're going to want these wraps to match them. So it's only 400 for all of these, AKA 100 V-Bucks a piece. That's solid. As for these two, I don't know. The deal is there, two for 800, that's a steal. But like I said, you are getting some of these in the mini battle pass as well. So if you skipped out on these, it's not like you're missing much. However, any fan of Star Wars is gonna want Anakin and Padme. Out of the two, obviously I much prefer Anakin. I'm a big fan of the Jet Black. And plus he's just an amazing character. Padme's exceptional as well, and she also has that alternate style, but I think most people are going to lean towards Anakin here. Regardless, both of these are incredibly well done, some of the better Star Wars skins that we've had yet. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.